be. Now, as I mentioned, folks used to come up and just tell me these stories about lost places in local history. And one day I was in the Red Fox grocery store when an old man came up to me and he told me about a place he knew of called the Center Schoolhouse. And he said, a guy like you, he can fix that place up. <laughs> now, I was young and naive and I was just intrigued by this. So I went out the next day to find him. And I took my old truck and drove exactly where he told me, but I went right by that place three times before I realized where it was. It was so overgrown, you couldn't even see it from the road anymore. And when I finally found it and made my way through the trees and the brush and the brambles and got a good look at it, I realized that building was just a ghost of the building it had been before. It was a two-story brick schoolhouse built just after the Civil War. But the windows had long since been broken out. The roof had collapsed down on the second story and had fallen in on the first. But the archaeologist in me took over and I began to poke around to see what I could find. And I found chunks of the original slate blackboard. I found a, a broken inkwell like a teacher might have used. And there in the wall, in the corner where the last remnants of wallpaper were peeling off, there on the bare plaster below I found writing. And it said December 4th, 1904. MK, age 10. HH, -H, age 14. Now those folks would have been in their upper 80s if they were still alive at that point, and they very well may have been. And that got me thinking about that old saying that people use when they, when they talk about old buildings. All the stories these walls could tell if only they could talk. And after thinking about it a while, I thought these might be some of the stories that the old center schoolhouse might have shared. I am an old building, I lean in the sun. Look at me close, see my days are all done. But once I was living and full of your lives, your husbands, your daughters, your sons, and your wives. But the years of neglect have now taken their toll, and raccoons and squirrels are all I have to hold. My windows are broken, and the rain pours in streams through holes in my Timbers were cut with the ring of the axe and were laid in the place with the strain of their backs. And the night that they first raised my beams to the sky, how the music they played, or the whiskey they plied, as the hopes that they held in their hearts all flowed, like the glasses the blue brew liquor they stole. Six generations passed on through these doors, reciting their rhymes as they danced around the floors. The circle from which their young world spun around to the jingling, jostling, happy sound. You got it, Don. Through the trash for some old souvenir. 
disappears, the crumbling remnants of a long ago years. But this tree in my fire has broken up through the rusted timbers, towards and heavens and blue. My days are not long, then I only remain in the strain of this song. I am an old building I lead in the sun. Look at me close, see my days are all done. But once I was living and full of your lives, your husband. 